Hey students, this is for Thursday, March 26th. It is a Greek day, which is a language arts day as well. We are going to be continuing with EL education. So if you have these workbooks, I'll tell you what page numbers that you're gonna be looking at. If you don't have that, remember I did make digital copies and put that in Google Classroom for those of you who need that. So a lot of you have been just taking a picture of your work and then sending that to me, that works as well. If you'd like to create a Google Doc and then turn it in, that's something else you can do. So whatever is easiest for you is what I'd like you to do. We're gonna start our lesson two with the entrance ticket. Um, so this is where you're gonna be listening to the song, Election Day. So we're gonna be looking at comparing and contrasting things as well. So this is the song, it's on YouTube and it's kind of scratchy because it is an old, old song. Because you should have been looking at the date set for the Harlem Renaissance. Do you guys remember who that is? Then you're going to be reading in your book excerpts from Shuffle Along. So Shuffle Along is a play and it takes place in Jimtown, Mississippi. So Jimtown has to go along with the Jim Crow laws. That's something that um, we've been looking at as well. I did put a video on Jim, Jim Crow laws that has to go with why that's called that. So the first thing you're going to do after you do your entrance ticket, again, that should be about five minutes. Listen to the song, compare and contrast. Then there is a Harlem Renaissance packet that starts on page six of your student workbook. I want you to do a close read. So if you have a highlighter, that'd be great or underline, make notes. Remember your vocab. So context clues, trying to figure out if you know any Latin roots, prefixes, suffixes to learn new vocab, continue doing that like we have been. So you're gonna read Harlem Renaissance packet, close read, and analyze election day. So we're only looking at act one, scene one of Shuffle Along. Okay, so we have the whole thing is excerpts from Shuffle Along, which starts on page 14. And at the very beginning, this is a list of all the people who are in the play. So it's just telling you who the characters are. And those are all in bold. So pay attention to that. It's a list of characters. And then we have Act 1, Scene 1, a street in the front of a Gemtown hotel. And they're talking about Election Day. So you might have been hearing a lot about why elections are important in the news today. Obviously, um, for the people during this time period, that was something really important for them as well to make sure that their voice could be heard. And so it says it's a chorus, so there is speaking and there's also music as well. That's why you have the version right over here where it says shuffle along election day in Jimtown. Okay, so comparing contrasting. So after you read that, the first piece of work would be classwork if we were there. Compare text and music election day. It's on student workbook page 21 through 23. So you're comparing the text and the music. Now some of these are a multiple choice. So remember, eliminate the ones you know for sure are not correct. Make sure you make um, an educated guess. Go back in the text, go back in the text. There are a couple of longer ones that you need to answer. Remember, I want complete sentence, please. If some of you are just giving me one or two words work on your writing this is really important okay and then after you do that there is homework which is read and analyze the blake biography so that's on ub blake from the harlem renaissance packet and that is just this page eight right here and so it also says what page it is in the homework as well so then the homework is on the back, and that's page 189. The homework is only one page. So even though it looks like a lot of work, it's, it's just like when we do it in class, 
it's not as long as it really looks. So this is the homework that goes along with the UV black. Remember, if it has lines like this, you should be some working on your writing, okay? Um, those of you who are doing it in Google Docs, make sure you pay attention if something is not spelled correctly because you should have a red squiggly line if it's if it's not correct. So again, work on your writing as well. Don't just get the answer correct, but work on correct writing as well. Okay, so then this is what's going to be um, for you to look at. If you look at the classwork again, I'm going to show you what it all looks like. For the classwork, these are the three things that you're going to be doing. We have compare text and music. We have the entrance ticket and we have the read and analyze plate. Okay, so it has more details and the digital copy as well. So whatever's easiest for you to do, a Google Doc or take a picture and send it to me, that's been working out really well. Um, I have still been going back and double checking. If any of you are turning in some of this late work, um, I'm going ahead and grading that and taking that. You have to remember if it's something that was done before the start of grading period four, I can't grade it. Those grades are already done. We've already turned those in. There's been parent-teacher conferences. Those I can't go back and change anything from grade period three, only grade period four. So some of you have been turning in stuff from February. That's way too late. Pay attention to the dates. If you look at right here, that's the date that it's assigned. These are all the dates that it's assigned. So those that's the work that you're looking at. Don't do something from that long time ago. Okay, so everything's gonna have a date on the top of it telling you which um, work that you need to do. Um, I have updated RDS. So if you can look to see what you have completed for grading period four, um, what you still need to turn in. Um, so it's Thursday is the work you're doing your work today. Remember, Friday is going to be I ready reading. You need to have at least 30 minutes plus pass quiz. Some of you have been only doing like five or 10 minutes and you pass a quiz, you think you're done. You remember, even though you just passed a quiz, I still want at least 30 minutes. So it's 30 minutes or more plus pass a quiz. And it's 30 points for 30 minutes. So if you only did four minutes, you're only getting four points. So make sure you're double checking to see that you're doing that in. Now also, you can't go back and make up I ready because it starts a new week every Sunday. So I can only do what you turn in for this week. Can't go back. I wish I could, but I can't. So that's some late work that can't be done. Um, some of you still did not turn in your test that you didn't do, that you didn't finish, you weren't here, or you didn't finish it right before we were not in school anymore. And that's a missing test grade, which is really gonna not help some of your grades. So please reach out, ask if you have any questions. You guys remember, it doesn't have to be on a language arts day for you to ask any questions. You can do that any day. You can send me an email anytime. If I'm available, I'll answer it right away. So it doesn't even matter if it's the weekend either. Um, I'll be checking emails and, and checking stuff over the weekend too. So hang in there. We'll do it. Um, this is a really interesting unit. So I hope you I hope you get something out of it. So if you look at this is the song that you're going to be looking at. It's shuffle along. It's quality is not great, but that's pretty amazing that we still have access. So that's a little bit over three minutes. So that's something that you can be um, looking at. Also remember um, vocabulary. We have some things, um, Langston Hughes, Harlem, that's great for you to use. Um, that's not the right thing. Um, we also had the Jim Crow by Brain Pop. That's pretty interesting as well. That tells you a little bit about what was going on during that time period. And some of you have probably learned a little bit about this in social studies as well. So again, reach out if you have any questions. Let me know.